In this video, we will try to look at a numerical on Herodomer model of economic growth. The question is like this. Uh, if national saving rate is 6% and capital output ratio is 3, then as per Herodomer model prediction, the economy will grow at the options are 0.5%, 2%, 18% or 3%. Okay. So, in the earlier video, we have derived the growth equation uh, for Herodomer model. The growth equation was like this. That is, uh, del y is equal to s over r. Okay. This del y means change in our uh, income. This is the saving rate and this is the capital output ratio. That means the economy uh, will grow as a ratio of the savings and capital output ratio okay so uh, let us see what we are given we are given s is equal to six percent here the national saving rate is six percent and our capital output ratio is given as three now what does this uh, capital output ratio of three means it simply means uh, to produce one unit of output we need three units of capital okay so what would be uh, our rate of growth of uh, the gdp that is equal to del y is equal to s our uh, capital output ratio that is capital output ratio and here our savings is six percent okay to this we divide the capital output ratio that is three which is equal to two okay so our change in gdp would be two percent if our national savings is given as 6% and capital output uh, ratio is 3, okay? Uh, because in Herodomer model, as we have seen, three most important assumptions were. First was that a savings is equal to investment. Whatever is saved uh, is uh, invested. And second uh, was that this investment uh, leads to change in the capital stock that is the capital accumulation okay and third assumption was we have a constant capital output ratio constant capital output ratio okay so this was a simple problem on Herodomer model where we were given the national saving rate and capital output ratio uh, to see uh, the economy I will grow at what rate what we have to do we have to just use this very uh, relationship that is growth rate is equal to the saving uh, rate divided by capital output ratio i hope i make myself clear thank you